Filmmaker Jesse Harris got his start as a video production student at Ballard High School. At age 17, he directed his first feature film, Living Life, which got national and international distribution. After graduating in 2004, Jesse founded NIFTY, the National Film Festival for Talented Youth. And in 2014, he moved to Hollywood. Well, I caught up with Jesse recently on Zoom to talk about his new film, Borrego. Jesse Harris, so great to see you and congratulations on feature number two. Hey, thanks so much and thank you for having me on here. So Borrego was about Ellie, uh, a haunted young research botanist who encounters danger when a drug smuggling plane crashes nearby in the California desert. Why did you want to make this film? The idea really first started with a true story from my dad, who was, a, he's a volunteer botanist, and he was working out in the California desert, uh, like during his breaks from the Seattle gloomy weather. And he and some other people discovered this plant that was growing out in the desert. that was like an invasive species, and it wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, and he told me that idea, and I instantly got this whole kind of concept it was such a great setup for why someone would move to this tiny little town in the middle of nowhere. I did some research and I found this story of a small ultralight plane that had crashed trying to bring drugs over the border, like that was a real thing. And I kind of put them together and, you know, I didn't want to make a drug or a cartel movie, but it was like just a, a cool way to kind of start the action and kind of tell more of a story of survival and kind of the choices that people have to make uh, both on, kind of on both sides of the border. There are a lot of thrillers based on drug smuggling, and often the bad guys are stereotypes. In contrast, uh, the two Borrego characters involved in the drug trade are complex with backstories. So how important was it to you to show their humanity? Yeah, again, you usually see these, these total stereotypes. And I mean, I, I have friends that, whose family are in, from that world. Like, it's just, it's just, you just know that's just kind of a, a way of life sometimes. It's not... Uh, not everyone is just uh, some bad, evil person, you know? And so, yeah, I thought it was really important that they kind of had these con con conflicted sides of them where it wasn't they were just doing this because they were bad, but because they were forced to. Lucy Hale plays the lead character and she is an executive producer on Borrego. She's a name actor for sure. I know she kind of broke through in the TV series, Pretty Little Liars. How did Lucy Hale get the script and what happened when she committed to the project? ICM, who reps uh, Lucy, they read it and they put her name up as someone who, you know, was looking, I think, for a more serious role and who might actually be interested in doing this. And so she read the scripts and then I met with her and she was so excited and passionate and ready to kind of dive into it. This movie would have never gotten made without Lucy. I mean, she really put her, her weight and championed it. Uh, yeah, it was, it was amazing to have her and she did an incredible job. Well, the setting for Borrego is the desert. It's a beautiful and foreboding place. Can you talk about the importance of that landscape to the telling of this story? I really wanted the, the desert to basically be a character in the movie, you know, and it, I think it became that. And I shot purposefully, you know, to kind of keep the focus very deep. So, you know, a lot of times in movies, it's very shallow depth of field. You don't really see the background. And so I wanted the opposite in this. You know, I wanted to really feel the desert and feel that landscape. So we were kind of were with the, with the characters out there. What was the most difficult moment, if you can choose one, of the shoot? So much of it was the, the, the limited time we had. Some of these scenes, for example, where, you know, you see it in like one long shot. Sometimes it was an artistic choice or creative choice, but a lot of times it was like, okay, this is the only way we can pull this scene off. It's just one long take of them walking through, finding the bodies, for example, like the sheriff and, and leaving, you know. And in the end, it probably added to the, the intensity you felt like you're with them. But like, that was the case of like, we have like an hour to, to film this scene. We can't do the 20 shots and different angles I was planning for, you know. Are more doors opening for you as a result of Borrego? 
I mean, hopefully, I mean, it's just been a few weeks now since it's come out, but it's it's doing really well. It's it's in the top 10 on iTunes indie charts, you know, it's, and it's consistently has been since it came out. So hopefully at the very least, it'll make it a lot easier to make the next movie. It won't take, you know, another 20 years between, between movies. Borrego is available now on digital and on demand. Keep up with all things Jesse at jesseharris.tv. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.